Roundtable Podcast. I'm your boy, Corey G, at Small Arms. Danny, at Trey Speed, and the graphic gangster himself, Cole fucking Susak. We got on the show today the Guinness Book of World Record holder, Lunge Mile. Mr. Ben Knight. Welcome Ooh, to the show, Ben. Whoa. <laughs> There's a lot of people going to be interested about this episode. First, I want to comment on Trey's outfit. Trey has <laughs> got a very nice vintage zip up yeah. with an un- with a beater under under I mean, it yeah. and with a chain Chain's and afro out. just just up enough. Yeah. This shit is legit. He, he bro. also has like the pecs pop. Yeah, I know. see that. <laughs> I see that. Is that a is that an is it's that a le- max effort life beater? Oh yes, yeah. Hell yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes. All right, Trayvon, looking fresh, my dude. For all your NFT honeys. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Clip that yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, geez. <laughs> I told him to um, put the banana emoji with it. Whoa. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. He's gonna go that far and just go. Ahead. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> All right, cool. Ben. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> now the peanut gallery's had their share. Yeah. All right, Ben, talk yo, about yo. let's 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 go all the way back. Where when did you start lunging? Really start to understand that one, it was gonna make an impact in your life, fitness, whatever it be, and then I know it's been like a thousand or two thousand days, so but but let's kinda start there and then we'll dip back into your past here and there. But I wanna start like Yo, I'm going to try this lunge thing. Good, great question. Um, I started the lunge thing back. We're the same age. Yeah. And um, kind of mutual How friend. Are you 44? 43? Uh, I'll, I'm 43. Okay, you're about I'm to be 44. Yep. Um, it started back when you were doing your 40 days, 40 challenge, you know, oh, lunge yeah, yeah. for 40 days. Yeah. I saw that. I'm like, man, I'm about to be 42. I can do that. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an old man, but yeah. I think I can do it. I was running a little bit at the time, mm-hmm. um, but I needed something a little bit more. And I was like, I'm not going to wait till 40 days to start. Yeah. October 25th, 2018. You know, boom. That's when I started. That's lunch. when you started. And um, I haven't stopped Fucking since. Fucking sick. <laughs> today, so was talk, day talk four, about- today was day 14, 14. No shit. 14, 14. So that's when. Pretty, I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. 707 <laughs> miles or something like that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I've done a mile or three quarters of a mile many times. But yeah. So where so where could you lunge to? I yeah, mean, from Detroit, out, yeah. like I'm in, De- you know, I start in Detroit. I look at this, I'm like, I'm think I'm down to like Chattanooga. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's fucking yeah. amazing. Like, and Jake's like, you know, at Nashville, he's yeah. like right behind me, like, hey, yeah. dude, I'm right here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Where that's you at? Epic. Why do you think, um, out of all the stuff, because you you've been athletic, it seems like pretty much your whole life, right? So it's like between running or training or lifting weight. Why do you think the lunges is what locked you in? It was like weight training and cardio. You yeah. know what I mean? That's so why it, I love it, it too. It, it like. It made me stronger and made me, you know, uh, lose weight essentially, mm-hmm. you know, and and build muscle. So it was it got, it gave you both. And you the think, mental side of it is just something different. So you think with your schedule too, the fact that you in theory could do it anywhere helped. A hundred percent. You know, my first five hundred days, I would do it anywhere, any time of the day. Um, and then it wasn't until Jake and I kind of talked about what he was trying to do and that's when it was like okay every day at, at 5 30 a.m or no later i'm gonna be lunging so mm-hmm. it was uh so like the last thousand days or something it's been roughly every day at 5 a.m i'm lunging no matter what where i'm at so so pretty cool. good when did it start getting like easy for you because like what did you start with like 400 or did you just hop right in the always 800 from day one i mean day day three day (laughs) day three day four was crazy you know like everybody says i mean it's 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 a um a painful thing the first week but first like 12 days really the the month the, the the um the challenge like you just you just get through it mentally you just got to get through it and and um yeah, I mean, yeah. it's... I'm, like, curious about some of the variables that you threw in the equation after it became easy for you. Was it, like, some interval work? Was it weighted stuff? Weighted vest and time, trying okay. to do it for speed, for you speed, know. Yeah. And um, <laughs> when, when <clears throat> it all kind of goes back to Jake because, it, you know, well, obviously... You came to support when Jake tried it, too, which was really cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I never met him. Yeah. I mean, I was he there. He showed up that I day. mean, literally, I was almost in tears on the track when he didn't get it because I know how much time and effort we put into it yep. um it meant a lot you know and um 
it sucked that he didn't get it, but you know, I kind of use it as motivation. Maybe, it, maybe I should try for it. And, yep. and uh, you know, here we are. So, it, but it did get easier, um, you know, a- after you're doing it for so many days. So I put on, mm-hmm. I put on a weighted vest. And I rocked, you know, a 30-pound weighted vest for 195 straight days. That's right. what I was <laughs> Yeah. And on Hampton. day 196 was my thousandth day in a row, and I went for the mile. Fuck yeah. And that that day was also a pinnacle that yeah. that, that we we'll had about, that we yeah. shared, and um and and that was another change after that, you know. Mm-hmm. So so what's funny is Ben is before a lot of people knew about this. I wore a 40 pound vest for a long period of time like that. And I made it a mile with a 40 pound vest once three quarters of a mile with 80 pounds. And I never timed them like you guys, but I I ended up competing in a bodybuilding show at 165. So I got super, it was probably the leanest. I I look like I was about to die. Like my, my glutes, like I was fucking the leanest, but that was what I was doing. So it's funny that you were with 35. So like that, that, 25 to 40 pounds I think is total there's a changer. big difference yeah and because yeah. we're so light at that point too right you weigh like 170 or something like that 180 yeah 180 okay so it's like I felt when I took that bitch off weighing 165 I was like I'm fuck I ain't weigh 165 since I graduated high school I was fucking flying bro. oh yeah oh yeah it was wild it's amazing the di- so I wore the vest on that thousandth day from my walk to my ho- from my house to the track okay and when I got there my buddies were there and I was like let's go fuck took that thing off and went. I mean the weight is like unbelievable and you just you you literally fly so you know Jake's been doing that and I want to keep pushing him on that and, yeah. and wearing the vest as much as possible um, as I think that's definitely a game changer for him. So, yeah. Good, cool. so when did you like start chirping at Jake? Like when did you find out like that there was another guy roughly around the same length as you trying to push it just as hard as you, when did that all happen? I never was really pushing it. I, my whole thing was just my, uh, streak. Gotcha. Yeah. Day 500. Just being dedicated. I, I, I tagged Corey, you know, yeah. that's it. I didn't know any of you guys and, and, um, and Jake hit me up and was like, hey, bro, congrats on, on day 500. Um, you know, um, I'm 125 days behind you. And just so you know, if you miss a day, I'm going to catch your ass. And I was like, <laughs> Sounds about like Jake. My man, you know, like, holy shit. I didn't realize that anybody was as crazy as me besides maybe Corey to yeah. do 300 plus days of, sure. of, of, of lunges. And uh, My here- ass fucking missed my streak because I fell asleep one day. Like that's that, that, like I came home from that meet at 303 days, fell asleep at eight o'clock, and woke up the next day. It was like, oh, well, there goes my streak. <laughs> keep, keep so it. I was like, oh shit, you know, I I don't want to miss this streak up, you know. And Dre and Jake, I said, well, what's you know, kind of what's your end game? And and that's when he said, well, on my 550th day, I'm going for the one mile world record. I have no idea this even existed. Um, right. and I was never, I was never going for time. None of that. My times were probably 20 to 22 minutes for 800, um, which were good. You know? Oh no, that's, that's and, and, solid. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of like that of, oh my gosh, this, this guy's gonna like shit. He, he's going to steal my thunder, you know, like not mm-hmm. my thunder. Like I didn't even know about it, but like, you know, here he is, he's trying to be the best lunger in the world. And that's fucking sweet. Hell yeah. So I, I was, him and I started conversing after that, you know, and like, you know, via Instagram and how I could try to help him with his training. And he was doing shit all the time. And I was trying to push myself as well, just to kind of, cause the times he was posting were amazing. They're I insane. Mean, yeah. Like I, I just, I couldn't believe it. So I just kept doing it and doing it, um, and pushing myself and kind of hitting him up and, and, um, you know, you were, know, again. So. Were you guys basically talking about what he was doing, and then were you also going and doing the same thing? Uh, maybe not or the no? exact same thing, but you know, I was definitely like into that song. Yeah. yeah. Of you know, throw it up and yeah. and oh yeah, the, that's the, right. Cause in, Jake, in, yeah. In, in the time, right? <laughs> that that yeah. song is is, yeah. is means a lot to Jake and I. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Um, because that song is is key, and it's what's it, the time on it. It's the song itself is about six minutes and eleven seconds, but the time you need to be yeah, is yeah. like six oh four, six oh five. You just need to beat that song four you gotta times. You got to beat, yeah. throw it up. That's me. <laughs> I mean, it's a when I started it. It's so well, good. I had about fifteen, twenty people around. I'm like, hey guys. Don't judge me on my choice of music here, but this yeah. is the best song in the world for this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's so, so good. Yeah, it's so interesting for like uh, people like who don't know Jake 
listen to throw it up that that was the only song he listened to yeah. while he was lunging and he knew whether he or not he time. was on pace by where he was at on the track by like the song. placements in the song yeah that's so yeah. fucking that's such an awesome way to gamify it like, yes yeah. literally like, beat throw it up yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> beat dumb. it you know and and what's funny is like you know uh when i did my mile shit i was i was almost around the second turn you know the first turn and the song was ending and it was you know that means i did it in five minutes and 40 seconds or so my first lap i mean i yeah, killed that's it blazing. and um, yeah. you know that's so close. i What's knew, fastest lap knew i was ahead of it uh for the 400 yeah. i did 615 and then 800 at 12 30 danny it's so good uh for what fastest lap like oh uh, fast yeah. lap like seven or low sevens i yeah. don't know exactly. mine's 707 what was your i have no idea it's and you like went five days. fucking I can look 40? it up. I just don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> it's probably slower than I took mine. a full scoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, it's irrelevant. It's slower it. than yours. Not right before, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, full scoop of pre-workout. to the Oh. Point. I like the yeah. fat burner before, the, before lunch. Yeah. yeah. That's really like what will lock me in for like going for time. It's fat yeah. burner. Yeah. It, it's, all, it's all good for sure. So I want to talk about day 500, right? And then we talked about this in the gym a little bit yesterday. So Ben goes and tests and does the record, right? And what I told him when I saw oh, him day in, 1000 or day 1000, sorry, yeah, yeah. I don't want to take 500 days away from no, it. it's okay. day, day 1000, he goes and beats the record unofficially. So your boys were hyped up, whatever. And I felt bad because you show love to me. But then what I did was I chirped back and said, go fucking do it. But then I tried to explain to him when he was in here that that's our culture because we got guys that own world records, right? We got guys that have records, but they have to do it on the platform. And so, because Jake, and this is part of me being like Jake's dude too, he set it up and did it. I didn't think he couldn't do it. I just wanted to push him to go do it, which now is also going to push Jake to like, go back and do it. Yeah, to like officially set it up. To officially set it, it because yeah. if you can, don't just say you did it. Because I can't say like, well, I thought I had the world record. I ended up being number two. But we'll talk about that. It's a different. But anyway, I went to go do it. We just read the fucking the sheet was wrong. No, no, the fucking sheet was wrong. They like, fucked it, us. They, they, Still a better yeah. subject. Yeah, they, so bitter. We got fucking bamboozled. <laughs> it's like it's like yeah. you killing that and then no, knowing the I, track was off. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, my point is that what I love Ben and I'm gonna give you your flowers on is you responded like, all right, I'm gonna go fuck, and then you smashed it, bro. So all the respect in the world from all of us, every guy in this gym that understands what you just did. But if you don't go do that, then it doesn't feel that way. To you, to me, that's like a gamer mentality. You were like, all right, motherfucker. Like, you, I don't know if you realized that it wasn't in a disrespectful way. It was in a challenge way because if you really got that, you should own it. And Jake has to come and fucking beat you, which is going to push him. So to me, it was like, I'm glad I did that. And I, I knew maybe you probably didn't take it the way I meant it to be, but the reality was it's the same as you worked out with me every day. I would have said the same fucking shit to you to push you. And I, and I, and hopefully that might have made you want to do it more so or not. I don't know. But I wanted you to go prove me wrong or not prove me wrong, whatever. You know what I mean? Because I just wanted you to go try it because you obviously beat it by like a minute, didn't you? Exactly. They awarded me exactly a minute. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you killed what it. Was, what, so yeah, what was the time you had to beat, and then what is, was your time? Yeah. Twenty five, twenty one, and point eleven was the time to beat, and I did it in twenty four, twenty one, eleven. That's like they awarded flying. me to the minute to the better. Moon. Um, yeah. it uh, like my stopwatches weren't weren't that. They were over by a second. So they, but I I think because I went a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. in distance, which I did on purpose because it says on the qualifications that you need to lunge through the finish line. Smart. And part of the deal was of why Corey called me out was actually I didn't officially break it or unofficially break it because I only went 1,600 meters. I didn't <laughs> even realize at the time that you needed to go 1,609. Oh, really? I mean, I did, I I did that realize that because Jake had to go that. I knew that uh, in my head, but like – I I only went to the finish line instead yeah. of the extra nine nine meters or nine point oh, three or whatever it is. I gotcha. So when I did my mile, I made sure that 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 finish line was like fifteen, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. lunges yeah. after that. So I think they awarded me a couple of, uh, a second or two faster because I actually went sense. further, mm. um, which they actually made me verify a second time that particular distance that I went, mm. and I 
had to produce a second video, which was great because one of my guys was behind me with his cell phone. And he actually sent me that video, and it worked out great because you can see me cross the finish line, and then you can see me do, like, 13 extra lunges, which they're, like, three feet. That's plenty, yeah. That's more than nine meters, well more. And uh, so I think that that's well, That attention in the detail, though, to make sure they can't uh-huh. take it from you. Well, I remember Jake had the the fucking the roller. Like yeah, the yeah. Yardstick oh, yeah, like the, like he, the people He went out and measured it, he yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He and he measured it, like, the track. many times to yeah, yeah, yeah. make sure it was on the dot. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because the buildup, and the one thing I think that Jake, and I don't know how you did this, but, like, Jake had a lot going on that day, too, mm-hmm. instead of just doing it on a Tuesday like he normally Did you kind of take that approach, or did you make, like, a big deal out of it with everybody? No, it was as normal as possible. It's like, smart. I'm ready to go today. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, every day, as long as I'm not sore, you know, you from do doing it, it yesterday, yeah. I'm ready to go do the mile right now. I and, like and, like, if, if you were to say, dude, back it up let's go tomorrow morning like if i was here yeah i think i could do it again that, no problem i would break 25 21 again that's no problem, the mentality that we take with the lifting you know like that the, the guys could go this saturday to a meet any of these guys that fucking training 4 a.m could go and fucking smash a meet trey you want to go squat 500 next, cool. next, next saturday, saturday. They, i know they, 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 it is actually planned for next saturday yes, they, but he could do it this saturday if he needed to that so my point is that's the stay ready i'm just this is just yeah. me you know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, fuck I with mean, it. every every day, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. What are you stay? Are you staying at 800? Like yeah, every, you know, since it's been almost 100 days since I did the record yeah. attempt, and I've just kind of gone easy 800. Yeah. You know, an easy fast. Gone, 800. Has there been uh, <laughs> today, Jake? J- today, Jake and I. I mean, we did it roughly 18 minutes. We took literally because he was wearing his rucksack. You know, we, yeah. we took a minute break probably. Um, not by really choice, but we were pushing it kind of hard in the mm-hmm. first lap, and and um, uh, but but we still did it in 18 minutes, and he had a 15 pound ruck, and that's good. You know, um, he certified that Travis was legit too, because Travis came here for oh, the car. Oh, yeah, Travis I, I've, I've seen him. He's well, um, he posts some pretty good times, 100, percent and he's in really good shape. He's a professional mascot, which is amazing. I didn't I, even know that existed. Listen, but, yeah. that's amazing. I mean, if we've rubbed off on somebody, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like yeah. Oh, yeah. to do it, uh, to do it, to go after it, uh, great. You know, that's why I'm pushing Jake. I mean, yep. I've I've had, you know, I've had my light. It's fine. I got to prove to my little boys that you know, Dad did it. It's all good. Did you get like a big plaque thing? Not yet. It's yeah. coming. You know, yeah, it'll, be, yeah. it'll be coming. <laughs> that's, uh, you that's know, fucking, that's I'm trying so to be humble. Cool. Uh, you're trying to be very humble about it. You know, yeah. with with also when when you're raising little kids yeah. you know and they're and they're boys i want to raise them right you know um i want them to be humble too mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, you know i've sh- i've said it a couple times yeah. you know in instagram posts or whatever like check my check my fucking stats homie yeah. you know like Yo, the my facts favorite was you said google what did you tell me google me motherfucker yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it I, says it right there know. <laughs> how does it feel to like know that you're in the fucking guinness book of world records that's got to be cool as fuck because yeah. i know if i had the opportunity to break a fucking world record on, i'm man. fucking doing we, it. we need to find a co- like you know, like yeah. the, there's so yeah, many you can do one yeah that's yeah, yeah. Dude, I would fucking one. put that Shrugs. in my Instagram bio, world fucking record holder. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sup? Downy Shrugs. traps, the biggest traps yeah. in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Shrugs for reps. Yeah, yeah. we need, we need. Reps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's got to be a world record. <laughs> yeah, like, like, without Dude, the, the what's yeah. the, the dudes on YouTube that uh, break up records all the time? The Cam dude, uh, perfect Newton did. Yes, oh, yeah, the, the dude yeah. perfect. They got like 100 million world records, bro. Well, are they, but they're like breaking like made up world records, I feel like. Well, they are, but they're still in the Guinness like Book. A, yeah. We ought to be able to find See, they, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. I'll put that shit in my yeah. bio too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but, it. all right, hold on. Let's go back to lunges. <laughs> you said that Jake certified Travis is a real lunger. Yeah. Can you break that down? Because a lot of people say, what do you mean? What's a what's a real lunge? And I agree. I like this question because yeah. it's funny. Jake and I were talking about this morning. Jake is not afraid to call a motherfucker out. Yeah. And well, I that's love a fact. that. <laughs> I love that, you know, Jake, because he Jake's he classic. does it for me. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, sometimes I'll do it. The only times I'm on there is when I'm fired up and I'm on pre-work, you know, and I'm, and I'm yeah. lunging. That's it. But the rest of the day, I'm very humble. I'll stay off of it. I, I just I want to be well, in the background. Travis, so. so my answer to that is that Travis was here in person and lunged with Jake, just like yeah, you did great. today. So to me, it's like Jake lunged with him, sees his time, sees the way you know he moves, he touches his knee, whatever. So yeah. I just said, Jake, was he legit? Super legit. Cool. So going back to day 1,000 and when Corey and I, you know, when he kind of got at me a little bit, was it wasn't that the coach and him and you and the – the certified godfather of this lunge game, mm-hmm. you know, 
is you got to call me. You got to you got to say go do it, dude. Don't don't just, you know, say you did it, but you got to officially go do it. And that 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 part I respect a thousand per- I love that. Yeah, you know, yeah. like that's awesome. What got to me it was just disappointing and I thought you were questioning my character and mm. my form and yeah, how yeah. I did it and how I was touching my knees and how I was doing it and I that's what got me so upset mm-hmm. was because I and I called Jacob I was like Jake like he's questioning the way we're doing it because I did it the way he did it yeah, I, yeah. I watched him do it and I was like you know I'm gonna do it like he does it it's the official way yeah, yeah. Um, and that's the only part that got me got disappointed that. was Man, he's like questioning my integrity here. It'd be mm. like somebody questioning my streak. Like, mm. there's really no way somebody's gonna be right next to you, or there's not a content guy with you every day to of film course. your 800 meters. Yeah, yeah. So it's integrity based, mm. you know, and and that's what means the world to me. And that's what I thought that's you fair. were questioning. Sure. And I was like, shit, man. I mean, now it's I got. I'm, I'm gonna do it. You know, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking do it. That's yeah, fair. Man. Yeah, well, I just was like, no, motherfucker, just go do it. Yeah. <laughs> Because then there's no question, and then that, that shuts it down, which is, by the way, what you did. <laughs> I like the response, though, because it's just like me, you know, calling a dude out in the gym that's taking a weight, that doesn't take it maybe as, like, you know, fucking aggressive as he should. No, nah, motherfucker, take it again. Or you think you can take the board number? Go fucking Saturday and beat it. You can be a top 10 list. You can take this. You can take that. Or you're not showing up for workouts. Where the fuck you at? It's the same type of thing. Like, that's my role, right? Sometimes people take it that way. Some people take it the other way. But the fucking real ones do exactly what you did. Just go fucking show up. <laughs> and that's and that's the, that's where the ultimate respect comes from a guy that's been doing it as long as me. Because obviously you don't compete in lifting. Mm-mm. Now you do, just in a different way, right? And I think that might be part of it is that we're so competitive here with actual. Most people exercise, bro. We don't exercise. We fucking train. It's mm-hmm. different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I've been competing every quarter my entire life pretty much since I was like 17 yeah. in something lifting specific. So I think that's where that kind of comes from. But if I don't do that, I still think you go do it, but I think you did it with a little bit more of a chip on your shoulder. And I can play that. I don't mind playing that role because I'm proud that's of you, great. dude. You fucking yeah, killed no. it. I mean, and I think it's going to push our guy who obviously I care about too, just like you. So it's like I see Jake because I actually physically see him all the time, right? We see you three, four times a year. It's like, one of those things where now I know Jake's turned up mm-hmm. and you're respectfully cheering him on, which is awesome, right? No one wants their fucking record broken, but records were made to be broken, too. Th- th- you, you all have your time and place. Yeah. I mean, uh, but I like, though, too, is that he's going to have to really fucking break it because you push the limits on it. And in the back of his head, he's going to know this motherfucker could come back and get another minute or 30 seconds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think there's multiple things that'll that'll push Jake, and I told him I thought he needed to be lighter. I think that Jake's a big motherfucker, bro. He's huge. Yeah, I mean, he's just a <laughs> yeah, big fucking huge. six eight, fucking two thirty, whatever. He's a big dude, and I'm like, bro, you need to weigh like two fifteen. He comes in, you know, I'm stretching on the mat. He comes and he's like, he helps me out. I mean, he just like picks me straight <laughs> up. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, it's uh, yeah. So I'm excited to see. How, well, I mean, what David Goggins took him like three times to break that record, right? Or something like the that. Pull up one. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, a lot of guys aren't as successful the first time around like you were, Ben, but I think like all of that played a part. The, the 30, 35 pounds, is that what you said? 30. 30 pounds. 30 pounds. The 30 pounds for 190 days, I mean, your That's metabolism like, had to be astronomical. I, I, I don't eat great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I eat whatever I want. And you're fucking ripped. And I love it. I'm 43 yeah. years old. I eat whatever I want. Yeah. You, you look know? young, in shape, feel good hormones is up like that that's what a lot of people don't realize is like all that leg training it changes your body i bet your metabolism's as fast or faster than when you was a kid no doubt right no, no i mean <laughs> i'm way better shape than when i was 20 you isn't know, that crazy for sure and then in your profession let's talk about your profession so you work you're one of the main reps for grace and grace and clothier right which yes. is a high-end golf brand how is that because i know they put you they had like a clip of you like on their instagram london in new york or chicago it was in detroit in detroit okay and so it's like how is that level of discipline and fitness which we already know this answer because we all feel it but i want to hear you like transferred over in to that with with the way people either know about it now or respect you deal with you ask about it like how's that fit in i mean he was like where are them pants from (laughs) 
Yeah. I mean, that that answers the question right yeah. there. I mean, Grayson is high end. It's a nice apparel brand. And it's, if you're in shape, it feels amazing, bro. Like, I fuck with the clothes. It's it's really good, really strong. I mean, it, it, it definitely makes you want to look your best mm-hmm. um, and, and do a little bit of training or, or do whatever. But honestly, it's such a great brand, and it's growing so quickly. It's getting out there. It's not. We're not just made for the skinny guys. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're not. We don't. We don't want that perception. We're we're sure. made for everybody. Yeah. And um, you know, it's it's uh, it's definitely helped me stay motivated to want to stay in shape because I want to be presenting for them as best as possible. Mm-hmm. And and um, you know, they push me too. Mm-hmm. Um, there's there's a, a team behind me of people there that um, really care about me and want to see me succeed and and. Uh, you know they they respond and 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 push me and put that platform out there for me too. You know, That's cool. um, you know I'm uh, they're they're motivating me as well. So how is the accounts interacted or do they know about oh, yeah. the lunch? That's what that's what I'm getting at. Like how is that transferred over into the business part? Like people knowing that when Ben walks in, this guy's accomplished something like this. Like it, it, did you feel? I don't know. Like, how does that, does it feel any different? Some people know. A lot yeah. of people know. I yeah. mean, you know, because you grow close to your accounts. Yeah, I mean, of that's course. how you, you know, build business and build your mm-hmm. brand, right? You want to, um, you know, grow and have comp growth with your accounts. So building that relationship and making it as personal as possible. Um, I think your guy like, who you know, Treadway, right? He yep. does a lot of that interaction, maybe with some sports teams and stuff. Yep. He, yep. You know, build that relationship with people and, you know, really, um, you know, help build, build that brand. And they'll, they're going to ask you personal questions yeah, about yeah. what That's you're doing. What I'm at. You know, like, what are you doing? Like you're 43 years old. How yeah. are you doing it? And, and again, in just conversation, things come up about what you are doing lunges and you know, or, or what have you, or on Instagram, they're seeing it or, 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 um, if my company's talking about it and they're, mm-hmm. wait a minute, did I, I just saw you in an ad, you know, yeah, like yeah. that, that's where it's, you know, starts to get recognition. So. The know, like, and trust. So it's mm-hmm. like, they know about, oh man, this guy's got some like extra discipline going on, right? They like you because they're rooting for you and you got a personal and then they're trusting like, this motherfucker's just backing up, like he's just about it. Uh, to me, that is a huge part of why my business has done <clears> so well is because I live it to that level. And even though it's not golf specific, but I think it's so disciplined and so regimented that I don't know how anybody can't respect it Mm -hmm. that works with you and then wants to have even more success in my opinion yeah with you I think the most important thing about what we do or want is the way you've titled it Mm -hmm. lunge and learn yeah agreed um that's very important I mean there's days out there like where I'm with Jake and we're just bullshitting yeah or there's days where you want to listen to some music and just stay hyped from when you were working out earlier yeah but most days you're learning about you're by yourself out there you're in your own mindset and you're you're trying to learn correct i mean you do this on purpose you don't go lunge with us like i'm like why doesn't Corey come lunge with us in the morning shit i'm in town how the fuck is he not lunging with with yeah, jake yeah. and i this morning like you know but you i'm in my own world yeah you you're focused <laughs> yeah. and that's your time yep and that's where it translates to the business and makes me better is I get to, to, to think about my day, think about what's going to happen in, in, in my conversations later on down the road. Um, I wish I could prove this, but I feel like, acumen. I feel like that your body, like the endomorphic, uh, release, release yeah. the, runner's high. the flow, the runner's high. It's almost like you reach that. I, I'm going to say a little sooner with lunging and, you know, I, I could never really read a book when I was a kid. I didn't realize till after I graduated high school that if I listened to music low, that I, like, I needed to confuse my brain to even let it retain it. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, when I was in that state that we create through lunges, it all soaks in audio-wise. And I just started becoming, like, way, way better. When it, so it, something is going on in that. And I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think it is. But that's where it became real, like magical <laughs> it's it's uh, a me. real thing I mean, it is a, a real thing it's a real thing it's you're learning about yourself when you're yes you know pushing 800 meters as fast as you can go as hard as you can you know you're going to learn a lot about yourself real quick and yeah for sure good. take a break yeah yeah uh, we'll go yeah. no yeah. we're good Keep it going. All right. Well, fuck it. Fuck Treadway. Oh, fuck it. We're so, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one thing that I I, I shouted Treadway. Huh? Yeah, he's yeah. Right, he's good. 
One thing I keep thinking about uh, is the word confidence. So you you strike me as just a confident person, just in general. Hey, I want when that, you walked in. That's how I felt today when I saw him. That's why yeah. I complimented. Well, I mean, on his look, look at his so fucking time. swag yeah, right no, now. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing yeah. a cashmere yeah. sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what up? What up, what player? <laughs> Hold on, look at the gold chain off. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. go ahead, Danny. Great question. I love it. Um. <laughs> See, yeah, where was I even fucking going? Yeah, it's well, confidence, so confidence. The, 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 confidence. Per, the first part of it um, is, is going back to the lunges and when you went for the world record. So, like, like going into that day, like, were you, I don't even say worried, but, like, were you confident, like, knowing that you were going to beat it? 100%. I was confident I was going to get it as long as I was healthy, the weather was right. Um, I had the, the right person telling me that I wasn't going to get it. It yeah. was my eight-year-old boy, Brandon. He was like, Dad, <laughs> Dad you, you ain't going to get that record. You That's know? hilarious. Yeah. Was like, that sounds like, it sounds like Andy. Yeah. Yeah. So literally, I'm on the start-finish line, and like I'm about to go, and I, I noticed him coming around. It's 5.30 in the morning, right? You know, it's dark. And I – I noticed him come around the track and like my kids have never seen me lunge in all these days. Right. And, uh, and I was, it just like the juices were flowing. I was like, my my older boy was with me. He walked with me, wanted to be with me the whole time. And Brandon come walking up. I was like, Oh, the boy that says I ain't going to do this, you know? And I was, so anyways, it just, yeah. So, um, and, and I was always confident. My best friend, Dion, no free shout outs again. Yeah, yeah. I, wa- I watched the show. Yeah. Um, you know, he pulled me aside afterwards. He's like, man, he's like, I was kind of nervous. I-, I didn't think you were going to do it because you don't always do a mile. Yeah. Like you really never do a mile, to be honest with you, unless it's like a significant day, like day 1000 or yeah. 2000, you know, yeah, yeah. 200 no, or whatever. And, but I would always do three quarters of a mile. And I knew in my head, if I can do three quarters of a mile in about 18 minutes, you're damn going to get better yeah. than 25 minutes on that last lap. Like if all Facts. I got to do is let it go down Yeah. and my kids are there, you know, I'm going to make it happen. So you put yourself in that position to just say, I can make mind over math. It's going to happen. Um, I fuck with that. On my, on my two year anniversary, I tried to do it. I, I failed. I got like 26 minutes. I had some people there. Those people came back. I wasn't going to fail again. Mm-hmm. You know, like I was going to do it, you know, that's awesome. And then does that translate over into the golf world for you too? Like have you always been like is that kind of a, a natural fit where you feel confident in that like group of people or you you better be confident on the golf course or else your game's just going to go down, yeah. right? Um Golf swag's interesting. Yeah, yeah, like if you're not if you step over it and you have second thoughts or you're not like thoughts. in the zone, dude, you just back away, you yeah. know? Like that's a quick little lesson right there. Um yeah. it just back off, restart and be focused on what you're doing, you know, and that's, it, it definitely um, will help your mindset mm-hmm. with golf, for sure. Yeah, because, like, where I'm getting at is, like, because, like, you, how many boys do you have then? Three. You have three boys, because, like, how do you teach it to somebody, let alone your own boys, you know what I mean? Like, how do you, you know, bring that out in them? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, they got to, they gotta, you got to lead by example. You know, and I think that that's well, not what you say. It's what, what you do. What I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I, they got to do it their own way. Golf is so unique. Um, life is so. Everybody does things differently. They, you can have the same, similar paths and things like that, but you got to go about it your own way. Sometimes you got to just lead by example and let them, let them, let them go. I mean, I'm just trying to be the best I can be. That's Love it. it. Love it. That's great. I, I like the. Uh, the 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 fact that one of your youngest was one of the ones lightweight hating is fucking hilarious because that's how my kid would be. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> At the game on Saturday, Anna walked up to me and was like, "You suck." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anna <laughs> talks smack to everybody. Yeah. He asked me whenever I came shit, down man. the first time with this gold chain. He's like, "What? That cost a dollar?" Yeah. Like he just always a hater. Like, what does that even mean? I know exactly. <laughs> I think so it's because they're on their games and they're behind mics a lot yeah, so they're yeah. used to talking crap <laughs> oh, like yeah, on their yeah, games yeah. And no stuff. that's true so like when we walk in they're he like he talks hey. all kind oh he's always talking yeah. noise they learn friends. at a younger age how to yeah. talk crap no and they they're good at it i mean brandon's yes. like you ain't getting that dad I'm like what that's hilarious Come on. <laughs> yeah you know the other thing too is ben as as we get older it's like i don't know if it's 10 years from now 50 years from now whatever you're gonna i mean you're going to look at that thing on the wall when you actually fucking get it and be like, that motherfucker, like these, mo- like that was, it's going to be one of the best times you ever can look back. Totally. At it, dude. You know what I mean? And that there's only, 
certain benchmarks in life that I carry weight like that, but having a Guinness Book World Record on something this fucking difficult that this many people have experienced, especially like in our community, a gang of motherfuckers have lunged 400, 800. They know exactly how fucking hard it is. Mm-hmm. They can not touch their knee. They can half-ass it. It's still fucking hard. Mm-hmm. And then when you went and did it at this level, bro, it's something you should be proud of basically till the day you die, bro, 100%. Right. And, yeah. and, you, and you showed up for your family. You showed up to fucking show out, beat the guy by a minute. I don't know, dude. It's just like something like, I don't know, I can't say it enough because I ain't out here trying to do that fucking record, bro. That shit is fucking difficult. Trey's a really good fucking laundry. He Like, to keep yeah. it up for fucking four laps. This motherfucker can keep it up for a couple laps. Yeah. Four laps is a whole different animal, It's bro. an endurance challenge. Yeah, correct. I mean, it's yeah. really, really challenging. It's not, you know, like, we. I think we talked about it, or maybe it was Jake and I talking about it. Uh, you know, the difference between maybe getting an 800-meter world record no and, a, and a mile is is going to be totally, totally different because I think we're, we're going to try to ask Guinness again if they'll let us do a half a mile world record. I think a lot um, of motherfuckers cool. would attempt that too. Right. It yeah. gives, it brings a lot, you know, there's exa- exactly that. Yeah, a lot more people will do it or attempt it. It's not as um, endurance-based challenge. It's mm-hmm. like just go, it's pure it's speed. There's so, yeah. it's, it's a different one. And I think now that more people are attempting, like nobody really attempted the mile. Yeah. You know, it's um, grueling, bro. That's so, why it took so, me an hour the first time I did one. Yeah, I was like, "Who the fuck ever?" Yeah, I was thinking to myself, like, "Why did I do this?" Yeah, I think, <laughs> it was, I think it was Mitch, the, you know, buddy in here. He, yeah. he's like, "I just tried the mile the other day. I did 38 minutes. I mean, it's amazing, you know." That's but I saw good. him today do it in like seven something. I mean, the guy's flying. Mitch's so. quads the mile, the look fucking like huge. completely different because, like I said, like my yeah. like 400 and 800 times are fast, fast. but uh-huh. like a mile, my fastest is, I think is like 39 minutes. You're also a one in 200 guy. Yeah. Not a four on eight hundred guy. You know what I mean? Like from yeah, a track yeah, standpoint, yeah. right? So then real quick, so yeah. like just to tie it all in, like a question yeah. I had was like, what did you do for like recovery and shit like that for Great lunges? Question, like, Trey. You know, like once once you got done lunging, like what were you making sure that you did the rest of the day so that you knew that you're ready for the next day? Some ab wheels, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Shout uh, out to Ab Wheel. Uh, uh, <laughs> in terms of recovery, obviously tons of amino. I mean that's that's the go-to. Mean recovery, yeah. yeah. I kind of feel like uh, a crack ad- a crack addict with that yeah. stuff sometimes. You know, I'm always like people are like, "What are you drinking?" And you people know that I'm- say branch chains don't work, I'm like, "Go fuck yourself." I've been taking branch chains for 20 fucking years. It's a total game changer. Yeah. And pushing the limits on all this type of stuff, and that was my main <laughs> recovery tool. So yeah. go fuck yourself. So <laughs> so that um, <laughs> this motherfucker got the Guinness Book of World Record lunge mile. He takes a mean recovery. There's your testimony. <laughs> Flip it. Go ahead. Shout out Max. Yeah, Wang. shout out Max. Wang. Yeah. Um, so yeah, tons of amino recovery, you know, maybe a little bit of CBD rub, you know, on, yeah. on your knees or anywhere where there's muscle aches, but you know, again, you don't get really sore once you do so many 800 days in a row. Yeah. Um, unless you're really pushing the pace. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, 800 weighted turned into the mile or was it, or was that block that one ninety three quarters of a mile? It, it wasn't three quarters every day. Okay. So yeah. it was, it was, if you push for pace with the vest, only do 800. Okay. If you're just, you just want to, um, GPG. you know, do the, the days that you weren't pushing for pace, you would just do the three quarters of a mile. So that way, you're, got you know, your legs were still getting anything that. else like uh, to Trey's question like massage yeah. or yeah, cryo like, yeah, or yeah. Or so yeah. um a, a really good friend of mine um was is is into this uh form of massage called body tempering and i know jake's oh, been yeah, messing yeah, with yeah. it a little bit it's you know it's almost where they put really heavy weighted rollers on yep. your back or your hamstrings or your quads and you almost get rolled out like a like a bread you know um, yeah but but kind of the idea is that the they leave the the weight on on your quads or on your legs or on your hamstrings and the blood releases, you know, goes away or whatever. And mm. then when you pull it off, it, it repools. Got and, it. It's kind of like voodoo um, floss in a way. Yeah. So okay. when I get real sore, I'll do that with, with my buddy, Brian. And, um, you know, that's, that's really about it. I mean, a lot of stretching, yeah. you know, you a lot of hamstring stretching. Yeah. Like I, you, you'll see me every morning. I yep. do those standing deadlifts or is that yep. it's uh, stiff called? legs, stiff yeah, leg yeah. deadlifts or whatever. Yeah. So, um, that's that's really about it. I mean, do you do anything pre-lunge, or do you um, just hop in and go? Uh, I, I do again some stretching, and uh, I, I typically the, the track is, you know, really not that maybe from here to the freeway from from here uh, mm-hmm. from my house. Oh, that that's but, why your son could walk over in the morning. Okay, that exactly. makes sense. Exactly. So, but I make myself 
not go on a straight line like through the grass i'll walk around and Got i'll it. jog around so i'll get my heart rate up a little bit my legs loose a little bit before yeah. i do the lunge okay. um you know i'm not a, a heavy weight guy so i'll do a little bit of accessory work maybe mm-hmm. before or i'll do a little bit of the get stack stuff yeah, yeah um uh or dumbbell shred stuff Dun- yeah yeah and um and that's that's really about it and then i'll go right into lunging Got it. Okay. You know, but I'm I yeah. was I was solely focused on lunges, and that was the difference between maybe myself and and Jake at the time mm-hmm. when Jake didn't get. I mean, he's squatting every day with you guys. I mean, he's yeah. trying to. I told help him, push you guys to, that. We talked you know? about that with him. Like, you to do this, it, you can't really worry about what your squat and deadlift's doing right now. Yeah. You can come back. To, I said we're going to compete for years, bro. You're going to set this up again and do it. It can't. If your shit goes down fifty pounds, it, it really can't matter. You know, I it's mean, it's such a lifestyle too. Like I was sacrificing so much in my like, because I only cared about like like I, I if you guys were like hey let's shoot some hoops and stuff fuck that yeah I'm not gonna sprain my ankle and jeopardize my lunges yeah you know so it's all I'm always thinking about it it's always in the back of my mind mm-hmm. and um, I was purely lunges no matter what and I think once Jake switches that focus yeah game over that'll be key well that's why I quit playing like the over thirty sports. Like, me and Treadway do jump rows once a week, but the reality is, like, I quit playing in basketball leagues. I don't do – I don't go fucking, uh, you know, uh, snowboard. Like, I don't do any of that stuff. Hurt yourself. Because I want to fucking squat. I kind of want to watch you snowboard now. <laughs> oh, I try, well, I did – I'm going to lie. I kind of tried last time. Kind of tried. And it was pretty fucking well, rough. Ohio almost doesn't even count. Well, we, you, you get like to watch him play basketball. That's enough. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and you do come for that show <laughs> early. Do. It's actually very – the last It's entertaining. Was, yeah, it's so so good. Good. Shout out Jump Rose. Shout out Treadway. Her Treadway. 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 Yeah. Shout out Treadway telling me I'm sorry, G, before he attempted to dunk <laughs> he, he on me. He looked at me before that, too. I was like, yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> I just want to say too, if you watch um, Jump Bros episode four, I highly recommend that you watch the whole episode. Okay. Because at the very end of the episode, the last few minutes is Treadway and Content Kyle playing one on one. Oh. <laughs> so, if you, so if you want some bonus There's evidence, yeah, that's bonus want, footage. Yeah, so if you want bonus <laughs> footage, I highly recommend that you watch that episode all the way to the end. So good, Trey. Um, I like how much Trey likes Jump Bros footage. Yeah. <laughs> <It's epic. laughs> so good. All right. Um. Uh, I was going to go ahead. So like a piece of advice for somebody who is just starting to lunge or even like thinking about lunging, like starting point, entry point, like what, what is your, you know, a couple tips. So they this actually is editor stay on. Dan- this is editor form. Danny getting exactly form what he is needs. The <laughs> most Im- yeah. Most important is form and yeah. not trying to go for time. Like, don't worry about the time. So quality work on the distance. Mm-hmm. You know, start with 400 if you need. I mean, if you really want to push yourself, go to the 800. But, I mean, you're going to get as much as you need when you're first starting on 400. For sure. Um, if you feel like after a couple of days of 400, you're, you know, that's not, an, you know, you, you then go to 800. But uh, definitely the form and not really focused on speed and just doing it right. You know, mm-hmm. making sure the knee is touching the ground. You're resetting because it's a very strenuous workout. I mean, I've had... You know, again, my best buddy uh, tried it with me one time. <laughs> he could barely make one lap, barely. But this guy rides the Peloton five days a week, and he just, like, kills it in these yeah. classes on the Peloton. Like, he's amazing. His legs are st- But yoked. one lap. Yeah. But he could barely do one lap. His legs were so blown out. He wasn't going for speed or anything like that. But, yeah. like, it's just it's, it's so animal, hard. Yeah. And if you really try to push it at the beginning – you you could hurt yourself and yeah, I, you know yeah you're going to be sore but that's that's good you want to be sore there's a difference between being hurt yeah <laughs> like overstretching it and doing all that so that's why Jake I think is so um, focused on anybody who like will tag us and they're showing them themselves doing lunges and stuff mm-hmm. he's gonna call them out yeah mm. because you gotta do it right if you're not gonna do it right. It is kind of overlooked because when you think about the stride, is it too short? Is it too long? Are they angling out? Like, because like they can obviously. That's when you hear people say, "Oh, I have knee pain" or something mm. like that. Can't do lunges. It hurts my toe. Wait, what? <laughs> like, it's really what? How's that big, work? <laughs> your big toe, you know, um, or it hurts my knee. Yeah, yeah. I always say it hurts your knees because your knees are weak. <laughs> Just keep doing it. Get, get <laughs> yeah. to a point. You know. I mean, that's a lot yeah. of it. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Danny, anything else editor-wise you need to get out of him so we can use on the website? <laughs> I, think, I think that was it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ben, where can everybody find you at? What's your handle, buddy? Um, Sben night 14 you can, you can 
you know, support us at, at GraysonClothiers.com. Um, uh, you know, you can support the CBD business we've got at, at uh, you know, Simplified-CBD.com. Um, but really, you know, through my relationship with Corey, that's how people can find me, and, and that's about it. Again, trying to be humble about the whole situation. I appreciate the platform that you guys provided today and Bro. the respect that you're giving to it. it but, awesome. But really, it's – it's um. You know, it was, it's just another day. Like I said, yeah. tomorrow I'm ready to go try it again, and it's it's it will be broken. Records are meant to be broken, yeah. and just for now it's there. And Is um, Ben lunge till he's 60? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know when <laughs> I'm going to That's what I keep thinking, like, because I'm not about to, like, do any other cardio probably. So, like, I just lunge for I just the rest of my lunge. life, I think. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't want, I don't want, the streak was always the most important thing to me. So yeah. it's, um, well, that's how gonna, you got there. Going to continue to, to do that. And that's what I'm looking for. Impressive, so, dude. Appreciate you guys yeah. very much. Like I always say, ain't nothing given. It's all earned. And this dude definitely earned that. So, okay. all right, Roundtable Podcast. I'm your boy, Corey G. Small Arms Danny. At Trey Speed and the graphic gangster himself, Cole Susak. Ben Knight. Glad to have you on, brother. Thanks. We out.